And communities continue to assess the damage left behind from those deadly tornadoes in parts of the south. The severe weather killed at least 26 people in Mississippi. Overnight, President Biden approved a disaster declaration for Mississippi, making federal funds available to those storm victims. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Morgan Norwood. What used to be homes this morning now just scattered debris, barely recognizable after an intense storm and tornado outbreak hit parts of Mississippi and Alabama Friday night. We lost everything, but we got our life. This ain't good. We're in it. We are in the tornado right now. Wesley Jackson took this video as he drove through the tornado, then captured some of the devastation left in its wake. The storm leaving a path of destruction stretching more than 90 miles. The small towns of Silver City and Rolling Fork, Mississippi, both decimated. The National Weather Service confirming it was a powerful EF4 tornado. They were saying that it was a tornado was coming through Silver City. They were telling you to take cold, but it happened so fast. A lot of people didn't get a chance to take cold. Nine-year-old Derek Brady Jr. hid with his mother, seven-year-old sister, and other family members in a bathtub as a tornado destroyed their home in Rolling Fork. I kind of feel like the tornado just pushing me and pulled. And I don't know what happened. The tornado just ran around the house and just tore it down. Tragically, not everyone survived. 56-year-old grandmother Mary Barfield Bush is among those killed. Her niece telling ABC News, Mary was a sweet and caring soul with a beautiful smile that lit up the room. ABC's Rob Marciano was in Rolling Fork as the sun came up. Now that the sun is getting higher in the sky, you're getting a, a real sense for just how much this town has been leveled. Some of these buildings you can't even make out. This is some sort of industrial a building completely flat. Mississippi's Governor Tate Reeves has issued a state of emergency for all of the counties affected by the storms, and President Biden promising the federal government will help.